Hey, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be just screwing around with this uh, Samsung Droid Charge. It was from this part slot that I did like a few, I did a video on it like a few months ago. You can go check it out. Um, there were, I believe, nine phones in the part slot. I got all nine for $27, so $3 a phone, which was a great deal. All the phones, um, all the phones in the part slot work except this uh, Motorola uh hd razor hd all the other phones work um i told you guys that the samsung droid charge also worked but i never showed you i never turned on turned it on and showed you uh because it's missing its battery but what i realized today is this nokia um bl5c battery works with this thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh turn it on and we're gonna see what's up the battery is smaller than the phone so i'm gonna have to duct tape it or something um i'm gonna tape it on um let me get some tape going here in the meantime don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel as well and if you like what you see uh please consider hitting that subscribe button as well um also hit that bell notification button so you're notified whenever i upload a new video um batteries in place um should i keep i'll keep that like that or that's gonna annoy some people do i have a pair of scissors um at this um so we'll see what this is like so samsung droid charge 2011 uh this actually runs a hummingbird processor if you don't know what a hummingbird means hummingbird is the predecessor to samsung's exynos uh they used to call it hummingbird before and they changed the name because exynos sounds more technical um samsung droid charge one gigahertz single core hummingbird this has an amoled display uh eight megapixel camera two gigs internal with micro sd expansion um so this thing worked last night um why does it not want to work now let me see there we go so the the, the negative terminal is a bit finicky um but it works um so like I said, AMOLED display. I hope this thing does not have image burn. I didn't test it that far. I just got to the Samsung screen. Um, the battery is quite weak, so we'll have to be quick here. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, the Motorola Droid X over there has an identical uh, opening sound, like opening uh, theme with this red eye opening and it just screams out droid like that my um girlfriend is extremely terrified of these uh droid series of phones because of the red eye and the creepy uh sound so yeah um it is it is quite creepy though i, I i'll give her that on that i'll give her that one it's quite creepy just like droid pretty creepy stuff anyway um this one's slightly different this one has more wires and shit the uh the droid x is slightly different um i always thought motorola was the the word the branding droid was a motorola thing but turns out samsung also has it this is a verizon phone so i believe it doesn't have a sim card um oh it does have a sim so, so it's a not only a cdma phone so it's got gsm as well this one is boot looping Hmm. I'll give it a few more minutes and be right back. Okay, since the phone is boot looping, I'm going to hard reset it. Um, I To get into the reset menu of this phone, you got to press the home, volume up and power button and release the power button when the phone, um, when the, the Samsung logo pops up and then this will, um, this will uh, pop into this menu. So wipe factory reset. Um, How do I select with this thing? Home button? Okay. All user data will be completely wiped. Um, press volume up to continue. Volume down to exit. Volume up. Wiping, wiping, wiping. Um, let's wipe the cache. I don't know. Who do you call it? Cache or cache, whatever. Wipe that as well. Um, reboot system now. Apply update from SD card. We might do that if this doesn't work. We'll reboot the system now. This, this phone uses the home button to select. Usually it's the power button, but we shall see. This might even turn into, I don't know if this already turned into like a repair video, but also I want to state that like, um, I'll be going back to my repair video soon. Um, I'm kind of broke these days, so I can't really afford to buy broken phones. 
Um, so that's why I'm sticking to my older phones to do videos, but there are a few phones on the way um, that were pretty cheap. So um, we got a Sony Ericsson Xperia U and we got a um, another interesting phone, which I'll show you. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. All right, let's just skip this. Okay, so um, the phone clearly has a software issue. It keeps boot looping. I may think the voltage is a bit too low on the battery, but I'm not sure because uh, it's it's a Nokia battery. It's not supported. It doesn't even want to charge the battery. It says unsupported battery. However, we're still going to go ahead and uh, flash the software on this phone. We're going to use Odin 3. Uh, Odin 3 was created for Samsung phones especially. And uh, we're going to do the AP, uh, meaning software restore. Um, it's an MD5 type file. Uh, we're going to use that. I have already downloaded it. I don't have my tripod here, so I can't really show you exactly, but I'll um, show you while it's happening. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, this thing's download mode is really complicated. I have to hold down the volume down button for almost a minute until it does its thing so that Odin can recognize it. You know what? I can't keep my hand so steady for like one to two minutes I start twitching so I taped a piece of plastic onto the the volume down button till uh, Odin recognizes it. So um, for some reason this never turned yellow as usual with Odin because this is the latest version. The last time I used Odin it was a long time ago. Um, so I just went ahead and put back the battery and then hit start and uh, now it's working. Well it, it's doing its reset. Um, the, uh, to put the phone in download mode, basically you have to put the volume down button and then plug it in without the battery. And then after it's done installing the drivers, then put back the battery while the phone is still connected and then hit start. So it's a really weird process, but that's how it was back in the day with these old Samsung devices. All right. So we'll wait till this is done and be right back. Okay. So we, um, keep getting this fail right after Movinand. Uh, Movinand basically is the check for NAND flash to check. Let me let me show it right here. So that is what it is. Movinand, now these are all checks. Now there's a single download and these are all checks. Movinand.bin, that's the uh, NAND flash check. If that fails, it means that the phone's NAND flash is screwed up. So maybe this was never about the software, maybe this, this phone actually has a screwed up NAND flash memory. Um, so if it's uh, if it needs a reflow, uh, that's not going to be a big deal. But this usually comes up uh, when the when the NAND flash has completely failed or when, when it's broken, because this phone is not known for like uh, uh, overheating and the, the, the NAND flash uh, desoldering from its uh, mounts and stuff so i'm assuming the uh, nand flash itself has failed here so now that we've established that something's wrong with this thing's nand flash memory um i'm going to be continuing this in part two where i take apart the phone and try to reflow or reball the uh, nand flash memory on this phone uh, well i can't reball i don't have a proper uh, soldering station so i'll have to reflow the solder on that this phone is not known for uh, NAND flash issue issues, so if it's not a common problem, means it's most probably permanently damaged. I can't find a replacement for this thing. They're no longer available. Neither do I have contact with suppliers and stuff. Uh, this was, what, 2011, so 10 years ago. So I doubt I can replace it, but I'll definitely try to reflow it. So we'll do that in part two in a couple of days, so stay tuned for that. But until then, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.